Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the LockPerms Permissions plugin. This is a very popular permissions plugin for Minecraft servers. We already done a basic tutorial for LockPerms, where we do a overview of the layout. We create a group. We also take a look at how we can add players to that group. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the configuration options that we have when setting up LockPerms. We will take a look at how we can make prefixes work, what weights do for a specific group, how we can set a expiry date for specific permissions, and also how we can set a specific context for a permission. Using this, we can create way more interesting features or groups to then offer to our Tabex customers. In an upcoming tutorial, we will take a look at some even more advanced things like sharing permissions between multiple servers. For now, make sure that you download LockPerms. I'm also going to be using Essentials X and Essentials X Chat. I have Vault also downloaded. Vault is mainly as a dependency for our other plugins. So when taking a look at my plugins folder, you can see indeed those four files are in here. My server already booted. I already made myself operator. We should now be able to start configuring our LockPerms plugin. There are several ways you can set this up. You can use the web editor. You can use commands through the console or in game if you're operator. And also certain things are configurable through the configuration files. For simplicity, we will stick to the web editor as much as possible. So just remember there are different ways to configure things and the web editor is not always the best or quickest option. So when joining the server, we can see we get some messages from Essentials X. Take a look at the Essentials X tutorial to see how you can disable or configure this. Let's start by opening up the LockPerms editor. I'm going to open up chat by pressing T. And then we're going to say slash LockPerms or LP editor. Make sure that you made yourself operator when trying to run this command. If you run this the first time, let's open up chat again. We need to make sure that our editor trusts us. So we're going to switch back. We're going to get a message. So let's copy this command and then switch back in game as it tells us to do. And then we will run that command inside. Okay, I cannot help you mate. I'm a little bit busy, I'm sorry. Yep, good luck. And then we're going to run LP trust editor. And this will basically tell the editor, this Ted guy is not as bad as he looks. When we now go back to the LockPerms editor, you can see that message is gone and we can now start making changes. Let's first of all, start with groups. We have one group, this is the default group. As it says, the default group is the main group that everybody inherits or by default gets when they join the server. We want to make our own group. Let's give the group a name, so VIP. We also have to set a weight. Let's go back and take a look at the default group and it has no weight. What does that weight mean? In my case, it means I should eat less. The higher the weight, the more important the group. Let's say we have a VIP group, we could set the weight to one and kind of see the default group as zero, having no special weight. If we would make a VIP++, we could give this, for example, a weight of two. Or if we already have a plus, then maybe that would be two. And then plus plus would be three. Or if you want to do something weird, you can do 30 or whatever weight number you want to give it. This is something you need to think about beforehand. Of course, you can change the weights afterwards. When picking these weights, you also got to keep in mind that you might want to add more groups in the future. So for now, I'm just going to set a weight of two. It's higher than our weight of nothing or zero for the default group, so this is fine. I'm also going to say VIP++. And then for the prefix, I'm going to set VIP. If we want to, we can also set a color. So for example, if we want to do gold, we can take this, we can put it in front of here, and this will give us a gold prefix. I'm also going to put a space behind here because otherwise it will look a little bit off when we say something in chat. For parents, we can choose any group that we already created. And this means that, for example, if we choose the default group, this VIP++ group will always inherit all the permissions that the default group has. If you want to use this, depends again on how you set things up. In my case, I'm going to select default and then suffix is something after the name. This is something I don't like. If you want to, you can add this as well. And everything I'm demonstrating with the prefix should work the same as the suffix. Then let's add the group. And you can see we automatically get the information that we just filled in. So we have our display name, our parent group, we chose default, the weight of the group, and also the prefix with our gold color code. 
So let's push this to our server. So let's click on apply in the top right. Let's then go to users. Let's click on our user and let's add ourselves to the VIP group and also apply that change to the server. Back on the server, we get these changes over here. So that's good. Let's try to say hello and see if we indeed get our golden tag. As you can see, we do. We have that space over here. You might not like this. You can remove the space from the group if you want to. Now, if this doesn't work for you, if you do slash plugins, make sure that all these are green and make sure you also have essentials chat. Otherwise the prefix might not show up as expected. Also keep in mind that you need essentials and vault for this to work. You cannot just install essentials chat. You need the other two as well. So let's go back to our groups. Let's click on the group we just created. In case you're wondering what the two is, it's the weight of our group. So let's give this a demonstration. We know that I'm already inside of the VIP group, but we currently did not attach any specific permissions to that group. I am currently operator, so I can run any command. If I do slash fly, you can see it says fly mode enabled. And if I double tap space, you can see I can now fly just like you might be familiar with in creative mode. This is something that is built inside of Essentials X. What if I want to give this to anybody inside of the VIP group? Let's go inside of the VIP group that we want to add the permission to. Let's then search for the permission that we want to add. In this case, I know what it's called, so I can just start typing. If you're not sure what the permission is called, or if it even has the permission that you're looking for, I would recommend trying to find a wiki or documentation, or just go to the download page or launcher where you got the plugin files from. Usually there will be a list of all the plugins, permissions, and commands that you can use. In this case, I'm just going to say fly, and we see here essentials, which is the plugin, and then the permission is fly. So let's click on this to add it over here. We then have more options here on the right. We can set a value, so either true or false. In this case, we want to add this to the group, so I'm going to set it to true. So let's click on the essentials.fly permission, and then we have some more options over here. We can set the value to true. In this case, this makes sense. We want to add something, so we want to set it to true. If you want to prevent someone or a group from running a specific command or using a specific permission, you could also set it to false to ensure everything is working as you want to or expect. You can also set a expiry date. This will automatically disable this permission on that date. Keep in mind that Tabax also has an expiry option, or you could even automatically remove a player completely from a group after a specific date. Another option that we have is context. These use a key and a value. So as an example, let's add something. So let's add a context. So let's select a key first. And this is kind of a situation. And this needs to be true before this permission can be used. So for example, we could say world, and then we could say nether. So if we add the context to this and set it to true, fly could only be used when inside of the nether. This way you can set context to a specific permission or some sort of situation that has to be true before a permission can be used, allowing you to be even more specific how permissions and when permissions can be used. So let's try this. Let's first of all, add this to our VIP group. Let's then apply. I'm then quickly going to build a nether portal. Okay, so quickly generated the nether. We are in the overworld. We are already inside of the VIP group. So let's deoperate ourselves. So let's do deop for deoperator Tabax Academy. So now that it only relies on our permissions and not us being operator, for example, I'm not able to do slash time anymore. If I now do slash fly, it says you do not have access to that command because we are in the overworld. What happens if we are in the nether? You can already see we are now able to fly. Oh, disabled, wait. We want to enable, <laughs> it was still enabled. As you can see, we can now use the command inside of the nether, but not inside of the overworld because we set the context. The context can be way more than just the world. It can be a lot of different things. As you can see, there are also some essentials things in here. So depending on the plugins that you have, you are able to set more context for specific permissions. This is really, really powerful once you get the grip of it. So one more thing I want to take a look at is tracks. For this to make sense, I'm going to create another group. So let's create this VIP group. Then let's create a new track. 
let's give this a name. So I'll call it VIP track. And then let's select the groups you want to add. So in my case, VIP and VIP++. I selected them in that order. And as you can see, I now have first VIP. And the next step up is VIP++. So let's add this track. We can now see this track over here. We can also edit this if we want to. So we can add more groups. And if we want to, we can also rearrange these however we want, if we want to make changes later on. So let's push these changes to the server. So now we have three groups and we can use these tracks to easily promote or demote people or players in those tracks. We are operator on the server. I made myself operator again, and I'm going to say lockperms user tabx academy parent set. Then I'm going to select VIP. As you might remember, only the VIP++ group has the fly permission. The normal VIP group does not. So I'm going to deoperate myself again. So now we only have the permissions from the normal VIP group. And as expected, we are not able to do fly. Oh, hello. Not even inside of the nether. Inside of the wiki, we can find this example too. This is kind of what we are doing, but ours are named slightly different. You can see we can run lockperms user, then the username, promote. In our case, you want to replace donator with whatever you called your track. Since I'm not operator anymore, I'm going to run this inside of the console. So you can see here, lockperms user tabx academy, promote VIP track. Promoting tabx academy, a long track VIP track from VIP to VIP++ in the context of global. That also works as expected. Once you got a lot of different groups, all with their different permissions and settings, using these tracks might make it easier to promote and demote people on this ladder. Hopefully this was helpful. If there's anything inside of Lockperms or of course any other plugin that you would like us to cover, please leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.